What's up everybody and welcome back to another math puzzle. In this one, the objective is to arrange the digits correctly to complete the subtraction problem. But notice in that top row in the green, purple, and blue spaces, you're only gonna have three, two, and nine as your options. For example, in the bottom row, you've only got eight, two, and zero to work with. Again, we have to arrange the digits so that once we complete the subtraction, we're left with 724. Go ahead and hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. So normally in a problem like this, I would encourage you strategically to start from right to left. So we're starting with the ones place and then we're moving to the tens and the hundreds. But this is a unique problem because I see that the final answer is gonna have a seven in the hundreds column. That's really important because there's truly only one way I'm gonna get a seven, not with the three, not with the two, they're too small. I've gotta have a nine go in this spot. And if a nine's gonna go here, I know that it has to be a two here. It's not going to be a zero. Even if even if I had a zero and I borrowed one from the nine, the best I would get is an eight. I couldn't get a seven. So now we're already part of the way there. Next, I'm going to look at the first column and I need to get a four, but that's kind of weird because both of these numbers are less than four. So the natural conclusion is we're going to have to borrow, right? We're going to have to borrow to get that subtraction correct. So the only thing that's going to go here can't be a zero because if it's zero, I don't need to borrow, right? So I know that eight has got to go here. All right, and that's great. But what now has to go up here, a three or a two? Well, if I put a three up here and I borrowed a one, it would be 13 minus eight, which is a five. Instead, it's gotta be the two up top because if I borrowed a one, I'd have 12 minus eight, which is four. This of course now leaves the three and the zero. So naturally three has to go here and zero has to go here. And the final answer is 932 minus 208. You can check that out yourself. That indeed equals 724. I hope you enjoyed this math puzzle. And if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining. And I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.